Hi everyone, welcome back to Spring Boot to Essentials. And now we are going to talk about field validation. So we only have here at Anime uh, two fields, ID and name. ID is pretty straightforward. If you try to save in the database without ID, it will fail. So we don't have to worry too much about that. But what happens if we would like to have a name as a required field? So if you are not familiar with Spring, probably you will think, hey, I just have to have a quick if, and if anime.getName is null or empty, then we just throw an exception. So Spring makes that easier for us. We don't have to change uh, much here. We basically have to use only one annotation. At not null, if you don't want it to be null, and not empty, if you don't want to be empty. So as you can see, javax.constraints, and only by adding this, you are already telling, hey, these guys are required. And you can also, if you want to send some messages here, for example, the name of this anime cannot be empty. So when we do this, we would like Spring to do this as a self-check. So for example, we would like here to validate before we even try to save and you can do that by using at valid from javax validation and automatically spring will try to validate that before it gets to the body so let's uh, start a service and uh, see how that works we do have here one anime here that we are going to do and let's do some tests if we execute here you can see that we do have the bad request because the name is empty and you have a huge JSON here. The default JSON coming, it's huge. And we have our default message. So this is a, a validation for fields. The You have several methods available, actually several annotations available. And uh, it's not the point of this training to go through all of them, just how it works. But for example, we do have another one uh, at URL, but this one is from Hibernate Validator. And uh, let's say that we would like to have here the URL for that enemy. And be careful because the URL will validate if it's a valid URL, but if it's null, then it will just let it go. So make sure that we also use at not null. So by doing this now, if we try to send something else here, of course, we have to reboot the server. And uh, coming here to the Postman, I will try to add, for example, a URL. And I will send an invalid URL. I will click on Send. And then we have here saying that the URL of this anime is not valid. And the reason must be a valid URL. So it's a huge uh, JSON that we have to worry. Be careful, for example, if uh, you do have here, let's say, empty name and invalid URL, boom. We get here URL anime, and then we have here the name of the anime. So the JSON can start getting pretty big. If you are sending like uh, 10 attributes, it will get a huge uh, error. Nah, that won't affect anything, it's just um, text. But let's see in the next video how we can uh, change this a, a little bit because we already know how to work with custom response bodies for our exceptions. So let's uh, stop this video for now and let's continue in the next one. See you there, bye.